Hi everyone, I'm Sadrian and this is Merrick and hey. welcome to new Teen Wolf Review. What up? What? Today's episode is titled Damnation Memoria. Let's talk about it. First, some quick thoughts. Sheriff and Styles had an amazing moment yeah. in this episode. Yeah, that I was mean, really good. You know, it, it, I love that Sheriff didn't say, you know, I would do the right thing. I'd be a sheriff. He's like, no. I would protect you. I, he's just mostly heard that Styles didn't think he would protect him, right? Yeah. Like, I don't care. I'll, I'll burn the whole thing down for you. Yeah. Oh. Malia! <laughs> I actually love that scene <laughs> with Richard and her when they got the guy. It's like, I will never talk. What about if we pay you? Hmm. All right, let me tell you. The desert wolf. Da, 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 da. So is that what she's been doing for the past however many days? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They had the guy <laughs> the trying guy. to get the information. <laughs> I love the moment where um, Scott uses Tracy's claws yeah. to like put it in the, I think it's Josh. Is that Josh? Yeah. Josh's body. Can I just say that was my favorite moment of the entire episode. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of interesting that Scott can still like you know, pull his alpha out, well, but yeah. he can't move his, you know, the thing from the floor and he can't heal. I think it was just a bonding moment. A bonding moment? What? With styles. What? When they lift it together. No, Scott couldn't lift it. Yes, I know. I know. I know. But, you know, in the grander scheme of things, he was, it was okay. like... Okay, in reality, though, he couldn't lift it. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. I'm saying that he fought them after him and Styles kind of, you know, rejoin forces. So his pack is getting built up again, which gives him strength. You know I'm right. No, I don't know you're right. I think you might be right. That's not the same thing. Makes sense. It's kind of annoying. Lydia. Okay. I have to admit, I thought I was understanding this, you know, going back and forth with Lydia, but I, I got a little confused this week. A little? A <laughs> little I'm like, confused? Wait, weren't they going to get her? I thought that was like was the it, present. Let me ask you a question. We know it's in the future, right? Well, I thought, yeah. That's yeah, no, I hold on. Confused. We okay. know it's in the future. Yeah. All right, let's put the... Well, well, this isn't in the future. Well, this is in the present. Yeah, this is in the present. This is where I got confused. Yeah, this is before the hole, the drilling of the hole. If you're going to have confused. future Lydia, you need to change how it looks. Yeah, th I, think, because, I, th I think that was a problem. Because like, honestly, it's looks very the same. confusing. So I understand it's confusing, but once you get it, you're like, oh, okay. So b it's before she actually fought the guards. So what Mer Meredith, who came back very creepily, I might add, is saying... What Parrish ta taught you, you have integrated. Look. And you know, and you can fight. And it explains why she's suddenly like super ninja, kick-ass, banshee, you know? Look, that's fine. But I don't think people should have to do homework in order to understand a TV show. You know what I'm saying? Like at some point you have to build it out with just a few little things here and there just to make it easy for Wait, people to integrate yes, the information. Yes, Theo's pack. It seems like... Well, he was telling Hayden, you know, you can't hide anything from me. And then I thought, okay, so do they have like a connection? Can he read her thoughts? Is it just like a threat? Like I don't know? think they like him. Let's be clear. That's one. Oh, the pack. I, I, thought, I found that very interesting, actually, because I thought, oh, they're just going to be like brainwashed. But they're not brainwashed, they're actually. They're themselves, yeah. They're sort of themselves. Mm -hmm. Although it changed a little bit, but they still make their own decisions. Yeah, they, they can so still live their own thing. And I think Which, he's trying to keep control over them. Not to belabor a point. Why is he still alive though? No, but seriously. Okay, here's here's my thing. Here's why this episode just, you know, annoyed me. Beyond, you know, the biggest facts. Theo should just not be a part of this conversation. The fact that Scott is like, hey, Theo, what's up, bro? No, he's not around? what's up, bro, bro, but he's just not, he's, Scott is not a killer. So he's not just gonna go and kill Theo for no reason. I'm not saying you're gonna f kill him, but Scott is n literally letting this guy who tried to kill him just walk around and not even try to go after him. Yeah, I guess I guess he could restrain him. Well, can he? Like, I don't know if he actually has the strength he, to do anything. It does. Does it matter though? Has Scott is, has that ever stopped Scott before? No, I understand, but what I'm saying again, I think Scott is like. I can either weaken myself to try to get Theo, or I can deal with this other thing that's going on. And that's going to kill all of us. Because Parrish saw the Nematon with everyone dead. 
from the beast. So Scott is probably like, I need to deal with this beast. Okay, Theo is kind of annoying, but right now I he can't he can't just weaken himself. I think. You know what? That's a really good point. I'm actually glad that scene was shown and it was made clear. Oh wait, no, it was not. That's my point. All you everything you just said makes absolute sense. I completely agree with you. That that's a logical reaction. If we saw that scene, that scene doesn't exist. It exists in your head. Right. I. I guess I guess it made sense. You assume that, but yeah. we don't know that. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. So I'm feeling there's a lot of gaps, right, in the storytelling here that just don't make sense and make me like sort of like the guy literally tried to kill you. He spent episodes setting him setting Scott up to get killed by his own beta, and Scott is like, what up, bro? I'm sorry. It's literally that's what it is. So it's hard for me to just Engage with that when I'm like, this is not good storytelling. I'm just not gonna lie. It's not good storytelling. I said it. La bête. La bête. So we finally got our first glimpse at what it looks like, sort of. And all I will say is, Argent is scared enough that he's like, all right, gotta bring Gerard back <laughs> because yeah. you know I can't do this alone. You know well, it's yeah. bad when Gerard is like <laughs> actually the like last bro resort. brought back in. Yeah, so yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting. I think we didn't fully see because there was like a lot of, yeah, it was you from know, far, from far off, quick. Like, so yeah. there's some stuff that we didn't see, but we can tell that it's really powerful. Yeah, and, and, it, and it's not a chimera. No. No. It's well, resurrected. Well, I mean, maybe it's a maybe chimera. Maybe it's a chimera. Like, a, like the maybe, first chimera. Maybe that was the first chimera. Yeah, yeah maybe. exactly. But, but it, it's not something that they, the doctors made right now. It's something they re resurrected. That's honestly not what I got, right? Like, I got the sense that they, they made something old. Well, Gerard said they didn't make a creature, they resurrected one. That's what he said. I agree. I think they resurrected it by making it. <laughs> uh, I mean, right. look, it's one of us is right. One of okay. us is right. You know, it's possible. It could go either way. That's how I got it. That's how you got it. We'll see. But I do think that, you know, I'm like, hey, big old beast, big old villain, big fight coming up. It's going to be pretty interesting. Here's my thing. I'm wondering. No, no, no it's, not, it's not negative. Here's my thing. Here's what I'm wondering. There's like basically three villains that Scott has to fight uh, in this season. Yeah. Theo. Yeah, the doctors. They're doctors and, and Labette. Look, I'm all, I'm all about three villains, right? But here's the thing, when you have too many villains, yeah. it's hard to really like get your attention on anything. So, you know. Your point is they should just kill Theo. <laughs> Styles and Scott. Let's build the team back. Did you like that moment? Yeah, the pack is coming back. I'm excited. Um, I think it looks like what's going to happen is in the next few episodes, they're going to focus on bringing back one person, right? First person is Kira, obviously. Which Kira is back! I was actually pretty happy to see her. That was pretty cool. I know. Was I know. Stoked. I was like, actually, by the end of it, I was like, oh, but f fighting? No? Oh. Is it going to be one, one person at a time? That's I gonna, think so. That's going to be long. And then by the end of it, it's the big fight. We need to wrap up the Kira storyline. We need to f do the Desert Wolf. So that's going to be an episode for sure where they actually go. So I think that's going to each each character is going to kind of wrap up their whole like issue. And I think with, with Liam, it's going to be like, Scott, do you forgive me? And yeah, I forgive you, you know, type of thing. And then with Lydia, it's probably the last thing, like, let's go, like, rescue Lydia. So I think they're just going to kind of, you know, deal with what each character has to deal with in order for them to be back together. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. I, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that it's I'm gonna... excited for Kira to be back. I mean, let's be honest with me. Mm. This episode, better yeah. or worse? Than last week? Yeah. I would say... Same? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean... I think last week I liked the whole parish at the end, so that was pretty cool. And in this episode, I liked the Scott thing. Yeah, I think it's about the same. Although I will say that it went by really fast for me. Like uh, by the end of it, I'm like, oh, what? Has it been like, you know, an hour? Like, so I, it was entertaining. I don't feel like we got 
as much movement forward or excitement as I was hoping, but, you know. This wasn't a bad episode, but it was definitely slightly worse than last week, for sure. For me, right? So it's not going in a good direction, but I'm hoping that the next episodes really pick up. So, anyways, guys, what did you think of this episode? Are you on Sandrine's side or are you on my side for this episode? What did you think? Comment below! Let us know! If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our Teen Wolf reviews. Every week! What up? Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you soon! Bye! Bye. And Crystal Reed is coming back! Yes! Um, I think a few of you mentioned that Crystal Reed was coming back. She's not coming back as Allison, though, because, you know... Allison. That'd be interesting. Because, you know, yeah, Allison's that. So unless it's a flashback, that's not going to happen. But then it's a completely different show. It's called Wait. The Walking Dead. <laughs> but without spoiling it, it'll have something to do with Levitt. So.